and the General Secretary of the National Association of Charismatic and Christian Churches, Bishop Gideon Titiofe, says some clarification is needed on the President's directive to have church service for only one hour. He also wants further explanation of the number of people to congregate, as the President mentioned, 100 people and at the same time 25%, which could mean more than 200 people. John Titi Ofer said the church is happy to have church services back. He said some clarification is needed on the 100 congregation as well as the one hour service. The president has stated about 25% of the congregants and then has also spoken about 100 people meeting. From us, us at NAC, it has been that discussion. People are okay. So 25% of what? Does it mean that if you have a thousand congregation, Two, uh, 25 percent will be 250 and does it mean that it's only that 250 that can meet on a Sunday at 100, 150? Why one hour? Is there, is, is there a scientific basis for it? Is there suggested, is there any, any study that has said that if we stayed in the chapel more than one hour, we can get infected. If we stay within one hour, Nothing will happen. The General Secretary of the National Association of Charismatic and Christian Churches says the church is ready and would ensure the necessary measures are put in place. The query says people have come out with different suggestions. Some have said, why don't we just have a small number of people in the choir singing so they can observe the social distance and, and be on marks within the period of singing because the rest of the congregation will be marked. So within the period of singing, so I'm like, okay, why don't you do a soloist? Just come and stand there and sing. Some have even gone to say, record your songs, play recorded versions on, on songs. So from now till Saturday, uh, I'm sure that people will really work on those things. And this is the church room of the St. Paul Catholic Church here in Pehe. And this particular auditorium has been empty for weeks. And hopefully this Sunday, we will have members coming back to congregate here. We are told that the seating capacity is 1,800, but the church is saying that they will ensure that the 100 people as directed by the president will be allowed to come in. Parish priest, Reverend Dr. Peter Rocky Hesse, who was happy to welcome the ecclesial community back, says despite measures put in by the local church, they would have to wait for directives from the Metropolitan Archbishop of Accra. For now, we are going to have three people on a pew, uh, looking at the social distancing, trying as much as possible to observe the three feet level. And then with the first view, we have three pews as follow period in between. Then the next three would also follow. With that, we can take even as much as 200. But for sure, we want to follow the directives of the president. He was hopeful the president's directives would be observed. For now, we would want to have two church services or masses, 7 a.m. and 9 a.m. When you come, we have what we call the pay protocol, the ushers, the security men at the gate, they will give you your number. So for the first hundred, once you enter, we'll make sure our health personnel, they would also test your temperature. And then with your number, they know the designated pew that you are to occupy. Well, we're also gathering that some churches are against the 100 maximum per one hour service. So they will not even attempt to open the auditoriums or churches at all. But we'll follow up on that and give you some more updates in subsequent bulletins 